like, like a different program. So, so people who don't understand this, uh, this uh, dynamic, this formula, uh, personality type, we never understand it. They, they always have this uh, personality conflict. What you gotta do when you have different conf personality type with different other individuals? What you gotta do? What I do? I have a thing called um, the color system. You know, I got the red line. This is this is um, one of my posters. I'll put it right here so you can see it. All right, I got a thing called the red line, uh, the blue line, the green line. Like a person that's very argumentative. That um that they ask you a question like yo James man you know you know um the Dolphins gonna win the Super Bowl this year right then the minute that you you an decide to answer the question they just go in and attack they're not they're not really looking for an answer they're just looking for just for the argument for whatever reason so red line so when you got when you, when your personality let's say you determine your personality type is a straight line communicator uh type A personality all right a line so when you run to like a personality type such as the outer, such as this guy right here, they say something just to to get you rise up, to get your blood flowing. What you do, you avoid this person. You put them in you red, you put them in a red line. That that person should not have your phone number. They should not have your email number. They should not have access to you at all. If you see this person across the street, you cross the street. Because it don't make sense for you guys to be in the same room because you guys don't get along. We'll never get along. Because if you don't discover that that's what the causing the conflict, what ends up happening is you constantly been aggravated. You go home for two days angry. You go home angry with your mates. You go home angry with your wife and kids because that one person just messed up your whole spirit, your energy. Now, we could say, well, that person got bad vibe. That person is a negative person. No, nah, that person is not a negative person. It's just your personality conflict, your personality um, understanding. It's just that it just come across. It's just like trying to make... It's like putting sh um, sugar and making spaghetti. It just don't. It just not gonna taste the same. It just doesn't. Not supposed to happen. So people actually got a red line them. You know, a lot of people like I don't. They're not my friend. I see them in the street. I talk to them. I say hello, how you doing? But I'm not gonna hold a long conversation with them because why? Because it, because we don't think the same way. You know what I mean? The way they think, they like okay. I'm a I'm a type A. I'm a logical mind. My mind is logical. And that person's mind might be a very creative and, you know, hustle mindset, you know, just all over the place. And I like my I like my line straight. That's why we call ourselves straight line communicator because you can pretty much predict what we're gonna do, what we're gonna say, how how we're gonna say it. So it's very important to understand the base lion, otter, a beaver, and golden retrievers. Now on video number one, that you should still it should be online. I, I went over this whole personality type during the summer. You can watch the video again so you can get the whole preview how the to, how to human being make up. See, once you understand this uh, dynamic right here, it's easy to recruit partners because you want to you wanna recruit a partner that brings value to the table, that have the asset that you don't have. Don't bring someone just because he's your friend. Friends can't help you because, see, the marketplace will only pay you what you the value that you bring to it. The marketplace don't care if you're black, white, green, blue, went to Harvard. Is that a, what value do you bring to the marketplace? What value do you bring to the partnership? If you don't bring any value, you know, and, and, and such as you bring, let's say you bring money, right? But it's a personality type conflict. The investor is very, um, you know, he's very um, crazy minded, right? He's very aggressive, very cynical. So you gotta know, so a guy like that, you have to, you, and you that type of person, you don't approach him. You send one of your partners to deal with him. You send a golden retriever, which is a person um, that's have a, what I call a passive demeanor, right? To deal with him because they're not gonna, they can't fight. Even if they want to fight, they're not gonna fight. But this guy, naturally, he's not, he's, he's not, he's not a fighter, right? So it's very important to understand this dynamic right here. So and also understand the person, um, how to control people. The red line. The red line, the, the red line, green line, blue line, this is the way I control people. If a person is cool, you know what I'm saying? They cool, you, you can talk to them a little bit without having a fist fight, you move them to the blue line. That means like, oh, that, that means he might have your email address. He doesn't have your phone number. He doesn't have access to you. He just he just he know him. You don't want no conflict. He's alright. Occasionally you might get an email from him. Right? So you you move to the blue line. Then the green line, the green line is the person that you get along well. Like lion, 
and, and golden retrievers and beavers, sometimes they work well together because a lion is a straightforward, straight line. A golden, golden retriever is a, is a person that operates out of loyalty. Loyalty a very is, is an emotional person and that's and loyalty means a lot to a lion. Very much because lions don't like to look behind their back. They like to go do, just do what they gotta do and they, they wanna know that people got their back. So they work well together. The beaver is what you call a taskmaster. You know, they, they work with checklists. If you wanna document down with all the checklists, you know, you had to get on the flight. Somebody when you're operating your body, you want a beaver to do the job because they're naturally analytical people. They, they, that's like they pretty um pretty like on a scale of if if you if you scale of 100, you got 25 here, 25 here, 25, 25 here. A beaver gonna have about 40 percent. That means they believe in being perfectionists. They like they get things done. They get it done. They get it done. And accuracy is very very important. They, they they're your insurance broker. They are financial. Consultant, they are the people that they are your surgeon. So when you when you done with that demeanor, so so you, that demeanor also could be come across extremely annoying because they lack a lot of detail. So if you try to sell a book to a uh, to a beaver, make sure you have all your title, everything outlined, detail, chapter five and sub chapter, no sub one, two, all your bullet point clearly and clearly explained. Because if you don't do it that way, they're gonna give you a bad mark. Yeah, man. How, how was um, James Bay for a book? Ah, oh, man, that book, man, he, that stuff was missing a lot of stuff. But the same token, to a lion, that's too much information. Because I just want, I just want, listen, what, yo, like my, like my cameraman was said today, we got a closing going next week. We making about, I'm making about $25,000 on the deal. And uh, I'm trying to get my, my, my man 15, 20 grand for himself. He's like, yo, what's up? What, what happened to you and the guy, the investor? He said, oh man, the guy said he has to talk to you. I'm like, why well, you gotta talk to me? Yeah, he said, yeah, I said, but see, I just want an end result. I'm like, what happened? I don't want to know the detail. I don't want to know where y'all met at, what you always said. I want to know if he's gonna give you the 15 to 20K that you asked him for. If he's not gonna give you the money, that means I have to give you some of my money because you're my man, you're my buddy. I don't want to give you some of my money, but if I have to, I'm have to give you five to $10,000, but I'm only gonna leave with 15, which is still still good good love money for, for me, for you know, because I'm only gonna spend it on toys anyway. So, toys anyway, but the idea is, as a type A personality the type, I don't want to know the detail. So the guy called me, hey, Mr. Bayfield, you know, I met with um, such and such, you know, listen, listen, they're going to get the guy the money. Now, well, I got I to gotta come see you on Wednesday. I said, are you going to get the guy the money? Yes or no? What can you do? Well, you know, the property have, listen, how do I repair this? I don't care about the repair. I don't care about the stove. I don't care who stole white pot. I don't care nothing about that stuff. All I care about, you're going to get the guy the money because if you don't give the money, because why are you telling me all these nonsense, all these extra stuff? He's trying to avoid paying the man the money. If you don't pay the man the money, I'm responsible for paying the man the money. I don't want to be responsible because I I, I need my 25 grand because I already got instruction for that money. You know what I'm saying? So that's how a type A person deal with. So when you're trying to get something done out there, out here, and the persons, uh, the people that have the resource that you need, they're not giving you the attention. It's because you you not you not you haven't mastered communication. You have you have not know, know how to approach them right. Like, like you know, if you, if you approach me for about twenty five thousand dollars on some, yo man, I got a hustle day. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna come through. Blah blah. blah. I'm not giving you my money. But you see, your bay, I got a proposal. I got this opportunity. This is this is this, this is what we could make. This is what we could make. You see what I'm saying? You hear the language? We could make, not just what he could make. What we could make, and we need about ten grand. Cause I'm like, what you need that money for? Where we got this? This going for marketing. Okay, I'm liking that because now, even if you lose the money, but you put it out on the street, you promote it. You know what I'm saying? I need like 10 grand for product. I said, okay, then I got to do a little payroll. You know, I got pro. So now I know what I know the breakdown where the money's gonna go. But so if you just tell me just I need the money, blah blah blah. I'm like, yo, nobody in their right mind will give. Type A's not gonna give you the money. A Type D, on the other hand, I mean a Type D, which is a golden retriever, they will give you that money. Because that person operates out of love. See, I don't operate out of love. I operate out of logic. Type A person operate out of logic. So the communication thing is like you gotta know how to deal with them. Like I said, everything comes with their mindset, their people environment. You know, what well, you know, their, their environment, 
how they was growing up, their personality type, their mentality. Some people mentality like you know they try their mentality is around a fast one all the time. Even though they don't want to run a fast one because the way they, the way they come across, the look that's that's their goal and the objective. So it make it make people like type A people a little worry. Cause type A, we, we what you call ourselves scanners. We always scanning the uh, in the environment. All right. Then you got the people culture. If you got in, in America, you have so many so many subcultures. You got Caribbean, you got Asian, you got Indian, you got African American from the Midwest, African American from the Southern states. You got African American from up north, from different part of the region. They all they all they're from the West Coast. They all say same thing in a different way. So we have to all have to communicate. When you're in the West Coast, there's certain things you don't say or do, certain way you don't conduct yourself, certain neighborhood, it, everybody got their own lingo. When you're in the Southern state, it's like the same thing. Certain things you cannot get away with. You go to Alabama, certain words, it's just like, it's just not cool. All right? You just don't do that. All right? So you got, you got to understand the culture. You got to understand the values. Um, let me go ahead. Go ahead.